안녕하세요. Hello everyone. Recently, a viewer asked me to know essential ingredients for Korean cooking, so I made this video today. For those interested in Korean cuisine, I will tell you in detail what ingredients you need to buy and how to use them. Please refer to the link in the description for the ingredients in this video that you are interested in. So let's get started. Soy sauce, gochujang, and doenjang are the most basic ingredients in Korean cuisine and are also the main fermented foods that are frequently used. In the past, ganjang, doenjang, and gochujang were made at home. These days, there are many people who go to the market and buy commercial products rather than making them at home. Types of soy sauce include gukganjang, shinganjang, yangjoganjang. Gukganjang is a soy sauce made by soaking fermented soybeans in salt water. It is used when making soups such as seaweed soup, yukgaejang, or namu, seasoned vegetables. The brand I usually use is Sempyo Joseong Ganjang. Jinganjang is commonly used as soy sauce and can be used in most dishes that need to be heated. It is used for stir fried and bulgogi dishes. Yangjo ganjang loses its rich aroma and taste when heated and boiled, so it is better to use it as a sauce rather than using it when cooking with heat. If you have to buy either yangjo ganjang or chin ganjang, I recommend chin ganjang, which is used well in most dishes. Compared to the color of guk ganjang and chin ganjang, guk ganjang is lighter in color, has a higher salt content, and has a savory taste. If it is difficult to find chinganja, you can use gikoma soy sauce as a substitute. Gochujang is a traditional Korean fermented food made by mixing glutinous rice flour, fermented soybean powder, salt, and water with a fine red pepper powder as the main ingredient. Gochujang is used in a variety of dishes such as tteokbokki, bibimbap sauce, bibim noodles, and chicken dakgalbi. If you go to a Korean market, there are various brands of gochujang, and not all gochujang is spicy, but they are classified into spicy and less spicy. Personally, I often use Changjongwon brand gochujang. Denjang is one of Korea's representative paste, which is made with meju and salt brine. Denjang is also divided into traditional and commercial denjang. Traditional denjang is made in a jar or pot by pouring plenty of salt water and scooping out soy sauce. Today, soybean paste is made in factories by mixing boiled soybeans with wheat and fermenting them with cozy bacteria. As a result, it has a shorter aging period and is much sweeter than traditional soybean paste. In general, denjang is often used to make stews, soups, seasonings, and samjang. After opening the soybean paste, you can use it while refrigerating. I usually use Changjong one or Nohyo brand. This is called Samjang. It is made by mixing soybean paste and red pepper paste and adding various seasonings. It is a sauce eaten with meat or vegetables. Gochugaru is Korean red pepper flakes. There are two types of gochugaru in Korea, fine gochugaru and coarse gochugaru. Fine gochugaru is ground very finely and completely powdered. Fine gochugaru is used to make gochujang, red pepper paste, or salted seafood. In general, coarse gochugaru is often used for general cooking or for making kimchi. Gochugaru also comes in spicy and less spicy flavors, so I think it would be nice to buy it according to your preference for spiciness. I usually like to use less spicy gochugaru. Gochugaru is often used when making kimchi, and it is also a frequently used ingredient in various Korean dishes such as oimuchin, musengche, a sausage stew, fejige, etc. I recommend using gochugaru that is a product of Korea. This is one of famous Korean kimchi company brands, Chongga, which is available at the local Korean markets. This is the Changjongwon Bidan Gochugaru, which is available at Amazon. The price is cheaper than Chongga Gochugaru because although it is made from a Korean company, it is not a product of Korea. Products of Korea Gochugaru is pricey, but it tastes better. When using, it is recommended to store the appropriate amount in a container and store the remaining red pepper powder in a Ziploc bag in the freezer. In order to make a fish sauce, small fish are fermented with salt. 
In Korea, ganari ekjot and mirchi ekjot are the two most widely used fish sauces. In Korean cuisine, it is mainly used to make kimchi and is sometimes used instead of soy sauce. Ganari ekjot is fermented and of mature fish sauce. It is sweeter than anchovy fish sauce and less fishy, so it is good for those who don't prefer the smell and the taste of fish sauce. I also often use the fish sauce with the three crabs on the packaging. It makes kimchi or our food taste better without any special ingredients. Fish sauce from tuna enhances the flavor of the food and enhances the savory taste. This tuna fish sauce is a brand I often use. Seojo is fermented food made by salting shrimp. Seojo is often used along with fish sauce to marinate various Korean dishes, especially kimchi. Salted shrimp has a light taste because it is low in fat, so it is often used in dishes such as stir-fried chicken or steamed egg, and goes well with pork dishes such as bosam or pork belly. There are many types of salted shrimp, but the salted shrimp that I mainly purchased and use in the United States is Dongbaekha brand. Recently, I tried a new salted shrimp, and I think this salted shrimp is also good. Roasted sesame seeds add a savory flavor to many Korean dishes. In particular, it is often sprinkled as a garnish at the end. You can buy pre-roasted sesame seeds at Korean grocery stores, or you can buy unroasted sesame seeds and stir fry them at home. I also buy unroasted sesame seeds like my mom, wash them at home, drain and fry them in a pan. And then I think sesame seeds becomes even more savory and delicious. Roasted sesame seeds can be stored in a container and used when making food. Sesame oil is made by roasting and then pressing sesame seeds. Because sesame seeds have a unique and savory scent, adding a little bit to food enhances the flavor to be more savory. After use, close the cap tightly and store it. It is recommended to consume within one year. I usually use otugi sesame oil. You can also use Japanese kadoya sesame oil as a substitute. When my daughter was little, she loved to mix rice with soy sauce and sesame oil in a fried egg. Cooking wine is a type of alcohol that removes odors, and tender rice is made when cooking food. It is usually used in meat or fish dishes. In Korea, Cheongju type alcoholic beverages are mainly used. Lotte Miriam and Otugi Mihang types of cooking wine. However, if you find it difficult to purchase Korean rice wine, you can also use Japanese sake as a substitute. Sugar, starch, syrup, oligosaccharide, grain syrup, and honey are often used to give sweetness to Korean cuisine. One thing to note when using oligosaccharides is that the sweetness decreases when heated for a long time. If you add an oligosaccharide near the end of the cooking, it will preserve the sweetness and make it shiny. Grain syrup is made by soaking grains in malts and boiling them down. It is sweetener that has been used since ancient times. The price is more expensive than starch syrup. Honey is natural sweetener. I often use it when making sweetness for health. I hope you like today's video. Happy New Year! I will see you next week. 감사합니다. 안녕히 계세요. Bye bye.